Among the multitude of highlights from state tournaments, a few will be etched in fans' minds for years to come. Ironically, one event didn't have anything to do with the actual game of basketball, the blizzard of 1959. As Gladbrook and West Central Maynard were battling for the championship title inside, a winter storm was raging outside. Oh, I remember it well. I was very worried. I was very concerned because they had, there was no exit from the city of Des Moines. And uh, as a result, we had seven to 8,000 people stuck in the auditorium. <clears throat> we needed to do something to entertain them. And herein is where my good friend, Frosty Mitchell, from another side of Des Moines, he walked through the snowstorm with, with his music with him finally arrived at the auditorium, snow bitten and covered with snow. He was a sight. Frosty Mitchell was a young DJ for KIOA Radio in 1959, popular with teenagers for playing the top 40 hits. He would remain a familiar voice and face at the girls' state basketball tournaments for years to come. I remember standing on top of the official scorer's table to do a teen hop uh, till 5 o'clock uh, in the morning. I know they sold out of 10,000 donuts, I believe. The kids were marvelous. We had no discipline problem uh, other than uh, some of the people that didn't like Top 40 that maybe wanted to sleep uh, up into, into the stands. 